aiming to attract more international passenger and aircraft traffic from across the globe, including Asia and the Americas, the NAC plans to invest over 1.3 billion Namibian dollars in infrastructure development across all eight airports within the next five years, aimed at improving compliance, operational efficiency, and revenue generation. We are saying that we want to to grow the aviation sector because we believe that traveling by air has got many advantages for Namibians and people all over the world. We are saying that air travel is very fast. It is cheap, it can become cheap if we use more and more of it. We want to ensure that we use this as the aviation hub for Namibia, but also for the region. It is our anticipation that world, uh, the, the Jose Kutaku International Airport and Namibia is also seen as a regional hub. Of course, we have our Tambo as, as the hub for our region, but we are saying that we have the potential by virtue of our location, what we can offer to our travelers, we can turn this airport also as a regional hub, whereby we can bring travelers in the region to Jose Kutaku and then they travel from here into the rest of the world. Through the infrastructure development project, the terminal building has been extended to avoid congestion, baggage carousel, security upgrade, and they also plan on extending the apron and runway. We are looking at expanding the apron so as to ensure you know, safety uh, of, the, of the aircraft in terms of maneuvering. We are looking at expanding the apron towards uh, this side put us in a position to accommodate more traffic and when we speak of more traffic because airport business is based on volumes. Uh, if the more volumes that we can have, the more business that we can have at the end of the day. This is actually talking to you know international standards that we're talking about. That we would like to be a world class service provider in terms of uh, aviation services. That's basically what you see you know uh, in front of us here. Urab further said that there are projects in the pipeline to improve the infrastructure of all eight airports across the country within the financial year, such as Ondangwa Airport, Apron Rehabilitation, Katima Mulida Runway Holding Action, and the Valfas Bay Airside Boundary Wall, just to mention but a few.